19. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents the mini biography of Joe Biden's unbreakable bond with Sun Bo. The vice president had a deep affection for his dedicated boy who caught brain cancer at age 46. By now, many are familiar with the catastrophe that profoundly affected Joe Biden's early adult life. On December 18, 1972, the 30 year old senator elect was preparing his transition into workplace when he learned his household had actually remained in a horrific vehicle mishap back home in Delaware. His wife, Nelia, and child daughter, Amy, were killed, while three year old Bo and two year old Hunter were entrusted leg and head injuries. It was an event that almost hindered a political profession as it was getting off the ground, however, one that also shaped the distinct relationship between Joe and his surviving sons particularly the one who acquired the aspiration for federal government service, and a present for connecting with people. Found out more, the heartbreaking car accident that killed Joe Biden's wife and daughter. Bo followed his dad's steps into public office. As explained in his 2008 memoir, Promises to Keep, Joe decided to commute to D.C. and back to Delaware every day, ensuring to be there when his boys got up and went to sleep. A lot of times, one or both kids might be discovered scampering on the train seats beside Amtrak Joe as he made his routine trips to the nation's capital. The devotion to family life assisted all three recuperate from the life-altering loss and create an uncommonly tight bond. A couple of years later, after instructor Jill Jacobs had ended up being a precious addition to the group, Bo and Hunter helpfully informed their dad that we believe we should marry Jill. By the time the kids were teenagers at Archmere Academy, Bo was showing signs of following in the elder Biden's footsteps. A natural leader, he was known as the sheriff among good friends and was elected student body president. After attending Syracuse Law School, his father's alma mater, Bo started taking his own path as a public servant. He spent five years as a federal prosecutor in Philadelphia, prior to winning election to the Delaware Attorney General's workplace in 2006. He also signed up with the Delaware National Guard in 2003, ultimately rising to the rank of significant. Joe Biden with his son, U.S. Army Captain Bo Biden, at Camp Victory on the outskirts of Baghdad on July 4, 2009, Bo ended up being an essential project surrogate for Joe. Bo likewise became an important campaign presence for the elder Biden. Soon before being deployed to Iraq with his system in 2008, Bo made a splash at the Democratic National Convention with a speech that shined a light on his daddy's excellent efforts as a single parent. Four years later on, Bo provided another rousing introduction at the Democratic convention that concluded with him citing his papa as my hero and considerably calling for a vote by acclamation to renominate him for VP. Bo had a way of instilling guts and calming me, Joe wrote in his 2017 narrative, Promise me, Dad, noting how his older child was typically the last individual in the room with him before important project occasions. Bo would always grab my arm prior to I walked on stage and pull me back towards him until I was checking out his eyes. Dad! Take a look at me. Take a look at me, Dad. Remember, Dad. Home base, Dad. Home. Bo was identified with aggressive brain cancer in 2013. By 2010, however, the Biden family was already headed for another trial. Bo suffered a stroke that year, and while he was offered a clean cost of health in the aftermath, he began suffering from aphasia, a condition in which he had difficulty keeping in mind appropriate nouns. In 2013, the circumstance became more alarming when Bo was identified with glioblastoma, an especially aggressive brain cancer. He went with an experimental treatment and attempted to continue business as normal, even revealing in spring 2014 that he prepared to run for Delaware Gov in 2016. Behind the scenes, the rest of the family seemed with concern as Bo grew weaker. In fall 2014, Joe wrote in his later narrative, he was jolted when his kids stated he was going to be okay no matter what occurs apparently acknowledging that he was combating a losing battle, prior to adding, you've got to assure me, dad, that no matter what takes place, you're going to be all right. Provide me your word, dad, that you're going to be all right. Guarantee me, dad. Joe was torn by the choice to run for president following Bo's death. By early 2015, the pressure was on for Joe to announce whether he intended to run for president in 2016. While noncommittal in public, the VP was already favoring the affirmative, his household viewing the endeavor as something to give them a typical function and, hopefully, bring them through to better days ahead. However that dream began breaking down as Bo's condition took a turn for the even worse in April. The short healings turned out to be impressions, and 46-year-old Bo took his final breath at Maryland's Walter Reed Medical Center on May 30, 2015. Bo measured himself as a spouse, dad, son and sibling. His outright honor made him a role model for our family, the sad dad stated in a statement quickly later. 
In the words of the Biden household, Bo Biden was, quite just, the finest male any of us have actually ever understood. The second major tragedy of his life provided something of a catch-22 to Joe, who was too troubled to pursue the Oval Office but likewise worried about betraying his kids' wishes by throwing in the towel. It wasn't till late October that he formally acknowledged the futility of undertaking a governmental project while still grieving. Joe continues to draw inspiration from his oldest child. In the epilogue to Promise Me, Dad, Biden wrote that he concerned understand that more than anything else, Bo desired him to remain taken part in public service. Naturally, that engagement led right back to the project trail with Joe's statement that he was running for president in 2020 and his rise to the top of the Democratic field. And while his match against Republican incumbent Donald Trump occupied the minds of the majority of voters, Joe relayed just how much he was still thinking about his eldest son to the media, including an emotional appearance on Morning Joe in January 2020. Bo should be the one running for president, not me, he informed host Joe Scarborough. Every early morning I get up Joe, not a joke, and I believe to myself, is he happy with me?